Give it up for my girl, Fallon Taylor. Here we go. The 2014 champion of the world on Baby Flo. Congratulations. Congratulations. World champion. What's up, Flomies? Okay, so my day has completely changed from what I thought I was gonna be doing to what I now am doing. I am so pumped to tell you guys that I have been called to fill a spot at the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo, one of my favorite rodeos of all time, and I am gonna break out the big guns. I'm gonna go full like 2014 glam at all these rodeos, which I'm so excited about. I just wanna play with fashion again. It's been a long time, and I'm really excited to make it a show in San Antonio. So Baby Flo loves this arena. It's super fun because you go underneath the Coliseum um, and you walk down under a concrete tunnel. I'll show you guys all of it. And then as you get to the back, the alleyway is like wide open. There's people everywhere and there's no like set narrow alley. So it's a really, really fun technical rodeo to run at for a professional. And I'm excited to show you guys all the behind the scenes. But because this was a last minute phone call, we're running behind, we gotta go, let's go. Okay, really, let's go. Are they gonna let me rodeo tonight? <laughs> Look. So, there's a lot of traffic in San Antonio, and it takes a long time to get in. And it's 6.41, rodeo starts at seven. Everybody knows I, oh, we're moving. I don't like to be early, I like to be on time. Not with life, with life, 15 early is on time. With rodeo, it's like if you know the schedule of events and you have it planned out, I don't like to sit around and think about what I'm going to do um, all day because you can really wear yourself down mentally. So I like to get there just right on time. And if all holds up like it's going right now, I'm going to be fine. But we just got stopped again. I have so many stories about this rodeo. Um, I used to run a mare when I was a little girl named Dunny we bought her as a brood mare. She was a Finnish maturity horse that had won a lot. Um, we got her back in shape and took her on the road and I actually won the first round of the San Antonio rodeo on her then. And she's no longer with us. She passed away a long time ago um, after she had some complications with giving birth to a baby when she was retired. But she was such a special part of my journey. But she was just a really, really, really cool horse. And the next round... I like almost fell off <laughs> and that's the story some days the windshield some days the bug okay you gotta have a short memory in rodeo or else you wouldn't do this much you have to lose do well win not get too high on yourself go to the next one etc etc I would like to report San Antonio's hospitality is bar none numero uno San Antonio and Houston like they're tied for number one on rodeo contestant hospitality, which is not average because most of the time we kind of have to fend for ourselves. So I'm excited to get to this rodeo. I had to turn out of another rodeo in order to come to this one and sacrificed my entire schedule to be able to make this happen. And I am honored to be here. So I will take you in for a closer look at the San Antonio rodeo. Are you ready for it?
thank you so much for all the good vibes. Baby Flo was amazing. She's always amazing. I asked her and encouraged her to go a little bit faster tonight, so I think we've worked through just a few of our little bumps, but I felt like San Antonio, we haven't been back in so long, and it was such an honor to get to run in the AT&T Stadium in San Antonio. Plus, I got y'all a little something extra, so I'm excited. I hope you guys enjoyed that part of the vlog because that was one of my most favorite parts, and I cannot wait to watch it back with you guys. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to be subscribed, ding that notification bell, and if you think that bringing back the OG flash is the move. Tell me below, give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down, works either way, don't care. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to count your blessings, drink your protein, and say thank you to Jesus. See you next time.